Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Tyler and Loretta. With feelings of joy, we prepare to witness to this sacred ceremony. Before God, we recognize the special bond shared by these two wonderful individuals. Their feelings for one another is truly worthy of appreciation. Firefighting teams have shifted from rescue and evacuations now to protecting structures and fighting the fire. This year, 2020, has been like a horrible roller coaster that you can't get off of. Anyway, too, way too many churros right beforehand. But thankfully for me, I get to look over at the person next to me with her big, goofy smile and our kind little goofy daughter smashed between us. And I know that I really have everything to be grateful for. We both know how indecisive I can be. I will stand in one aisle at the grocery store for like 20 minutes, looking at new protein powders and drinks. But when it came to choosing the person that I want to marry, I've had no such fear or indecision. I know you are the one. When you find Tyler, it's extremely bittersweet. Just because I know, I finally find someone that can take over for me. And today just marks the day that I pass the torch and she'll always be in good hand with you, Tyler, and that you will now be her protector and her champion. You'll cry with her and you'll laugh with her for the rest of your life. A toast to the happy couple. Have a wonderful life together to Tyler and Loretta. Cheers. Tyler, do you take Loretta? Do you promise to support her completely and love her unconditionally so long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Loretta, under the eyes of God and before your family and friends, do you take Tyler to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to support him completely and love him unconditionally so long as you both shall live? I do. By the power vested in me, by the state of Oregon and the Universal Life Church, I pronounce you, Tyler and Letta, husband and wife. Tyler, you may kiss the bride. <laughs>